a perfect spring evening at a festive Cooper Stadium to commence round two of the Hyundai A-League. 22 degrees, 14% humidity, absolutely ideal for the players. And the man in the hot seat for many reasons, touted as the next Socceroos coach, Ange Postacoglu, looking for a winning start to his season. It is a packed house. It's the original A-League grudge match. Adelaide United against Melbourne victory. And overall, the victory have thrived in their contest against the Reds. But uh, of recent times, that uh, statistic has waned. Melbourne has won just one of his last eight matches against the Reds. Adelaide have had five wins, two draws. And they've won the past three matches at home, outscoring the victory by six goals to two. Just 19 years of age, but already a crowd favourite at Highmarsh, Owel Mobile. Usually an attacking midfielder from the Campbelltown Club. Five matches last season, two starts, won the uh, National Youth League medal. And after being judged the most uh, valuable player in the league with eight goals. I tell you, when, when he came on last year, I remember him. So positive. Quick, direct. It's a lovely touch. Thompson in the middle, Payne! Well, scuffs the chance. That is a poor finish by Connor Payne. What a chance for Melbourne victory. Look at the space here for Zula. That's what they do. They all drop back in. Even Geronimo dro drops back in. They outnumber the victory in transition. Watson, Lustiger. Sirio. Lovely run by Geronimo. And is that a penalty? It is. Adelaide United will go to the spot. Thanks to their enigmatic striker, Geronimo Newman. Well, first glance, it looks harsh. It's the type of run he makes so well, Geronimo. A little darting run inside. I thought Coe got the ball. That's at first glance. In the spotlight. Mark Milligan asking the question. Another booking for his fellow Queenslander, Mitch Nichols. The replay is going to be very interesting indeed. Well, the key will be, does Geronimo get his foot to the ball first? That's never a penalty. For me, he gets the ball. Clearly, that's a poor decision from the referee. And it's the Spaniard from the spot. Number nine for Adelaide United. His first experience of a match against Melbourne victory. And he puts the Reds in front though. And there's a booking on Lee Broxham. Well, he should just let the goal stand. He's booking the Melbourne victory player. Adelaide have just scored. Punishes Adelaide for the Melbourne victory player encroaching. That's exactly what Don McCain's saying to the, the referee. Well, this is extraordinary. Firstly, it shouldn't be a penalty. If we get, get past that, then the goal should stand. Now, Adelaide player did go in and then go back out, but that's not the one he punished. Some pushing uh, on the edge of the area as well to be pushed into the area of the Adelaide player. Take two. The pressure mounts on the Spaniard. Does he go the same way or does he change it? Nathan Coe, what does he do? Sirio scores! 1-0 to Adelaide United. Record crowd and delirium at Homer Stadium. Well... He takes it well in the end because he's had to take it twice. That is not a penalty. But it was given and Thurio had the job to put it away.
that's the first one. They made him take it again. And this time, a little bit the other way, but virtually straight down the middle. Nathan Coe thought he might go the same way as the one that didn't count. Keeps his cool. Thursday league goal for the 28-year-old Spaniard. He had uh, Segunda experience with Mallorca and uh, Geronimo. This time play caught on. Mabil. The crowd really get into this contest. There's nothing more the Reds fans like than the beating Melbourne victory. Well, they... victory, victory have just got to calm down at the moment because they're all fired up. Adrian Leia just went in for a challenge and they played on as Geronimo skipped around him. Mark Milligan, the captain out there, has got to calm his players down. What's happened has happened. They can't change that. So much early heartache for Adelaide United, including that to humiliating grand final losses. The ball skies over Nathan Coe's crossbar, but in the last 18 months, the ledger has been corrected. Adelaide have come back uh, with great force in their last three matches at this stadium. Melbourne only one win in their past eight against the Reds. And also with the, the speculation mounting on Ange Postacoglu. An extra glare of focus on this one. Elrich plays it square. Sirio has been very lively. Nabil makes the run and has space. Cuts back inside and hits it well. Off the bar, 2-0. Geronimo scores. Adelaide in seventh heaven. All set up by the brilliance of Noel Nabil, the 18-year-old. But finished off by the A-League's ultimate predator, Geronimo. Well, they've had problems on that left-hand side. Look at Therio. Look at the amount of space the midfielders like Therio and Lu Lustica are getting. Out to Mobile. Cuts inside on his right foot. He's already done that three times since coming on. Gary should be alive to that. Actually takes a deflection, I think, off Leia. Off the post. And Geronimo, as so often is the case, Johnny on the spot into an empty net. Geronimo gets another goal. All his goals have come here. He loves playing here, Geronimo. The tenth player to score ten goals for Adelaide United on the tenth anniversary. There's some symmetry there. He's got some key players out. He also have gone bow, but certainly the players in positions that are somewhat not familiar. Cameron Watson in the midfield and which early at uh, the left fullback position adjusted well. Certainly in the Bills injection has done the job. But Thompson away. Can he score his second goal at Highmark Stadium? Archie Thompson squares it for Payne. The flag is up for offside. The goal will not stand. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to look at, but I thought Archie should have taken that on himself. I'm not sure why he comes back onto his left foot. I think his second last touch just took the ball too central. one-on-one on one. I've been saying at that high line and this time they got caught out and they get away with it again and I think Archie Thompson in that sort of position has to take on the responsibility one-on-one -on -one with Galekovic they got it right now there's where he, he's not offside there definitely not Tarek Elrich playing it and here comes Archie that's where he's touched just let him down and he's clearly onside should have been a goal and if you look at Archie Thompson and it, it, what should have been the perfect setup for Connor Payne, who's clearly onside, but he sort of one-on-one you know, -on -one in that position. Should have taken it on himself. Wouldn't have been at the mercy. And, uh, Thompson, well, he's filthy. He should have played on. You can always come back for the foul. Thompson's in behind there. This is extraordinary. It looked like there was a, a clear advantage to Melbourne victory. You can always come back. Always come back to the foul. It's too quick with the whistle. Here's the foul. Now the ball goes through. And Archie Thompson, look at his position. Their bodies they've got. Well, they're four on two. Three on one in the box. With Archie Thompson about to slide the ball across. So no, it's just not good enough, really. 
It's great to see two, two teams that want to attack. Milligan wins the free kick. Quickly take it. And again, they're trying to exploit the pace of Connor Payne. Cushion ball from Tracy to Traore. James Tracy lost his footing but got an important touch to Traore. Here's Mitch Nichols! Pulls the trigger but can't find the target. Certainly a different character. Insatiable desire to score goals, both uh, have that in common. And this is a big mistake. And Nichols is in. He's got Thompson square. Has to hold it up. Numbers with Adelaide. As McCain lost his footing. And arriving is Traore. A great save by Galegovic. Another victory fans on the edge of their seat. Hoping for an opportunity. It may come here. Troisi. And this is the target. Oh, it's the right idea. I just thought he could have taken another yard. He goes very early, it's completely on his own. Brilliant little ball from Mitch Nichols, he's in there. It's the right idea, going for that post, and it's way off in the end. I thought he could have made his angle a little bit better with another touch. Tracy once more. And that's a decent ball as uh, Milligan made the run to the back post. And he hesitated. He just stopped. And if he had it continued, he would have been on the end of that. It would have been a difficult chance. Charles, he saw him. He watched, watched the run of Milligan and he just hesitates there. Well, they've asked all the questions in the second half. Jar is empty for Melbourne victory tonight. In this situation Adelaide can control their own destiny. To keep it tight at the back. It'll be interesting to see if there's any sort of temptation to drop a little bit deeper and protect the lead. Well, they continue, continue to play the, the high line. They're just getting spread out now. Geronimo's tucking back into that midfield area. The deal's high and wide. In a bad position here. Surely this is a goal. No. Another fantastic save by Eugene Galekovic. On the angle, that was goal bound. That's Barbarousas going for that same corner as Tracy did. Nichols, again, good use of the body. Lovely ball in behind. Barbarousas needs quality from the delivery. Taken down by Tracy and uh, he's certainly fluffed his lines there. Yeah, first touch let him down. Great little ball from Barbarousas. Again, it's the Kiwi International. Cutting it back. Thompson arrives, but can't direct the touch on target. Well, they've got themselves into great areas, but you've got to admire as well some of the defending, last-ditch defending from Adelaide defenders. It was Elsie this time. Barusa swings. Yet another corner for Melbourne victory. Finkler! And he scores for the victory. It's 2-1. Guy Finkler. Welcome back to the A-League. What a crucial second half goal. What's and the victory are coming back at Highmarsh. What's a great strike in the end from the, the corner they Look at Finkler. Just holds his ground. He's not picked up. And they don't close him down quick enough. Two little touches. That's a, quite a brilliant strike. And Eugene Galekovic, because it comes through a lot of bodies, he sees it late. He actually gets a hand to it. But it's low and hard and skids off the surface. Kalekovic couldn't keep it out. Being replaced by Nurs in the second. It's a poor clearance. Pressure showing. Opens up for Barbarousas. He plays it early. Thompson crashes off the crossbar. Well, Archie Thompson off the half volley. The 
goal is beckoning. We expected the net to bowl share. Mistake from Eugene Galekovic, he's the most relieved. Mitch Nichols picks it up. Finkler with the pass out to Barbarossa's perfect cross. Just gets underneath it too much. As he slides in there, keeps it down, he scores. Somewhat of a, a bogey venue for Archie Thompson. Only one goal and nine visits to uh, Cooper Stadium. Dear life. Barusas with a good touch. Nichols. Finkler in the middle. Back to Barbarusas. Strong. Milligan! And Delegovic just does just enough to deny Melbourne victory the opportunity. And he collects a, a knock for his troubles. What a brilliant move from Melbourne victory. And it was just a little bit too much in front of him. Wasn't really an angle on it. And he goes for power and Red maybe should have just opened himself up here, Milligan. Because Galekovic had committed himself. He went for power with the instep. He virtually stayed at Galekovic, who was brave on the second one. And maybe just got a, a touch from Archie Thompson. Can he find a way through? It is on the angle. Archie Thompson charged down well by Galekovic. Once more saving Adelaide United. Traore gets past one and then two. Hangs it up back post. And flicked away by John McCain. Well, that's good defending from John McCain. A brilliant play from Traore on the, on the left hand side. Tracy. Nichols, a wall of red ahead of him. We'll stick out tries to find an outlet, but it's nothing there for Adelaide United. Good interception by Mobile. Now it opens up on the left for Lustiger. Hasn't quite got the pace to get past Geria. United fans thought there was a foul. Milligan just pushes the ball in the path of Barbarousas over the top. It's an awkward height and delivery for Archie Thompson. Well, they're out on their feet, Adelaide. Finkler tries to turn, but just lost his footing. Nichols, square, and it's in, I think, over the line. What a finish. 2-2 at Cooper Stadium. Melbourne victory have equalised after dominating the second half. And the passion overflows in this heated cage. It's brilliant play. Look at the run of Tracy. Archie Thompson, they got bodies. Little run from Nichols. Now watch Tracy, just pulls off. Nichols has the presence of mind to find him. It's clearly over the line. It's a brilliant finish from Tracy. It's no more than they deserve victory. An absolute superb second half performance from this side can they go on and get a winner or can Adelaide hit? there's three minutes of six in injury time and there's a corner for Adelaide United is there another twist a record crowd at Cooper Stadium can Adelaide come back they've been down on their feet they've got the set piece McCain's dangerous Marlick as well they need a good delivery by Lusica. And it, uh, it cannot be connected. There's a curling shot. Stephen Lusica with a second attempt. It was an Elsie. It opened up for him. And he just, he just, I think he got stage fright. He had plenty of time to get a strike on goal. He just hesitated and still it came back. And they get another set piece. To the back post. Who gets a, an important touch. McCain tries to keep the move alive for Adelaide. And wins another corner. 
Seems their best outlet at the moment, Adelaide United. Ninety seconds remaining. Three corners. Is it third time lucky? Cosmina musket cut going right down to the wire, near post. Kane rises but can't get any connection on the header. Which had to be strong, and he was. It's a nice ball in the direction of McCain, who plays it early. That's a Royal Marshall near post for Nathan Coe. Heart rates are racing for the Adelaide United fans. And also racing down the right as Jason Carrier gets to the byline and cuts inside. Again, it is Tarek Elrich who saved the day on a number of occasions. Second half for Adelaide United. Well, they've sliced them up down this side, particularly this right hand side in the second half. And Kolekovic you know, does one of those punts. 30 seconds remaining. May with the defensive header. Finkler. Cushion ball has. Mitch Nichols got the legs, he has. Cuts it back near post, but it's defended, defended well. They're out in their feet, Adelaide. Last hurrah here for Melbourne victory. Finkler, Salma Malik. Lustica hesitated. Geronimo Newman, and there it is. What a game, Bash. Unbelievable. First half, Adelaide United. Had the rub of the green and a 2-0 lead at the break. Goals through Sirio and Geronimo Newman. But Melbourne victory came back. The players absolutely on their feet to earn a 2-2 draw with Finkler and Tracy coming up with the equaliser in the second half. An amazing contest, great drama. And it finishes Adelaide United 2, Melbourne victory 2. That is one of the best performances from a any side I've seen in the second half of Melbourne victory. 2-0 down, and they just completely bossed the game. Adelaide were brave, but victory, wow.